Good day, everybody. <coughs> Welcome back to the Hen's Tooth Cafe. Um, uh, gonna cut to the chase. Uh, whoever's been following the Schumann PLL saga, um, I'd always been intrigued by the fact that there was a five pin meaty jack uh, on the original unit uh, labeled Arpeggiator. So I uh, did a little bit of research to uh, arm myself with uh, some information, which isn't always a good thing. So, um, 10 step sequencer. Uh, it's plug and play, takes its power from the, um, from the Schumann PLL. Um, this board here um, is a uh, 555 4017 uh, based uh, sequencer. It also has a slot for a 40, 46 uh, chip, but we're not using it because we're using the uh, 4046 in the PLL. Um, 2 to 10 step selector because uh, one note arpeggios are kind of boring. Um, each uh, step is tunable, each step has its own on off, so you can have, uh, you know, you can say use six steps and skip two, whichever two you want. You got a rate, you got an on off, you got a momentary, if it's off, momentary on, if it's on, momentary off. And the only thing missing right now, uh, because I didn't have the right momentary switch, is um, uh, it, it doesn't uh, reset to uh, to the first note, um, which I'm going to add. Uh, and then I'm going to have a little toggle switch as an option whether to uh, have it reset and wait at the first note when I'm not using it, or just free run and I can jump jump in anywhere. So right now it's just a, a free running sequencer. So, um, the other thing is that uh, it's uh, highly interactive with the lag response and loop track. So, uh, you can create a lot of havoc with that. And um, there you go. So, let's uh, give it a try. We're going to, uh, first of all, turn the volume up on the guitar. Very important, boys and girls. So, uh, we have the. Uh, Schumann PLL alone. So we have it uh, have the uh, some of the some multiplier, some divider, and some square wave all set evenly. I've got the multiplier and divider on fifths. Um, so now turn on the sequencer. Why don't we hear anything? It's because we don't have any signal coming from the guitar. Uh, that's where the response interactivity comes. Uh, you can you can just get it to the edge of the envelope, where if you don't have any signal from the guitar, you don't hear the uh, the uh, sequencer and the lag. You can actually use to tune to uh, let's say whatever root note you're using. So if I'm using E, there you go. Like I said, if uh, we put it to uh, six steps, and uh, let me skip to uh, number two and number five. You can change the timing and change the uh, the, the way the uh, the arpeggio runs. There you go. So. Uh, so it's a plug and play unit. It uses just a normal MIDI cable and MIDI jacks. Um, it takes its power from the uh, from the PLL unit. Uh, if you're using the uh, the original uh, 12 volt version, you're basically just tapping onto the positive side of the 12 volt line. Um, the original PLL circuit has more than enough power to run that. Uh, it doesn't create any uh, any changes in the voltages on the positive side. 
um, it's very stable and uh, there's no, no problem with it and uh, there's a lot of interactivity going on with the lag response and loop track um, knobs here uh, you can actually use the uh, sequencer to uh, to trigger uh, the lag in the loop speed uh, let's say if we go to the maximum uh, uh, loop speed which is three and um, just kill it for right now because we're going to turn up the response turn down the, the loop tracking turn up the lag <coughs> You can create all kinds of neat sound effects and weird noises with that. So there you go. Uh, no idea if that's what John Schumann had in mind, but that's my take on it. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So uh, once again, thanks for visiting the Hen's Tooth Cafe. Hope you all have a great day and uh, keep doing it yourself. And Is that possible to say that? Anyway, I just did. Have a great day. Ciao.